Hello, welcome to episode 7 of Stuck Radio's Retro, Retro Lounge. Um, yes, last week the wheel picked, <coughs> excuse me, the wheel picked Frogger. Um, as you can see, we're all decked out and we even have a little Frogger. There we go. Um, so we're going to be doing, um, obviously we'll, we'll dig up the arcade game at some point. But we're looking at home consoles, 16-bit, 8-bit, um, and a couple of handhelds this time as well. And then we'll round it all out uh, with a spin of the wheel before we leave. So, uh, so yes. Hello to the chat room. Thank you for joining us. Okay, let's get cracking, shall we? So... So I have my warden here who will make sure that um, you'll see everything that you're supposed to. So let's uh, we're, we're concentrating with Retro Arch again this uh, this time, and uh, here we go. Let's add that. Let's take that away, and let's make sure it fits the screen. Oops. There we go. So, I guess we all know Frogger. You the little frog at the bottom. You got to cross the road, and you got to cross the river, and you got to get home. It's easy as that. I feel this might be one of the shorter episodes. But, let's let's see. So this is the Atari VCS. Now, I struggled with the controls earlier on today. For some reason, the Atari VCS controls are set up a bit weird. In uh, in OpenMU, so let's reset it so we can hear the tune. Are you getting the tune? You are getting the tune. That's good. Okay, so I uh, even got uh, wired today because I thought I plugged the wired one in because th maybe that's what's messing it up. But who knows? Uh, right, let's see if I can remember how to start it. There we go. So there you go, your, your Kermit along the bottom. And you don't jump on them ones. You get on that one. Pick up your bird. Uh-oh. And a fly as well. Wow. So, I normally I don't play, but some of the cartridge, some of the emulation has stopped working properly. And I'm a bit like, oh, I best run all these games and just make sure they all run. I feel this is the one that I probably um, played m most. I think it's the VCS one. <laughs> wow, look how fast those cows go now. Holy crap bags. Oh, see, I think the pictures on on the frog's face just then. I think they're too good for a Tari VCS. Could be a ColecoVision version. Say, I know I've said it before. I'm not blaming the joypad this time. What I was gonna say was. <laughs> A lot of these games are patience. It's not whether you, it's not sort of the skill of playing it, or I suppose the skill is the patience of doing it. Like that. I mean, it's not difficult to push the joystick forward and backwards. And this is the song I remember too, but. The, the little arcade machine that I just showed you right at the start that's there is, um, doesn't play this tune. So, whether there's some licensing thing for mini arcade. Can I complete a whole level? Yes, I know the odds are no, but... 
But again, it's patience. Patience. And there's the timer. Whoa, what was that? suddenly started moving very quickly. Come on, I only need to get one more now. Get in there! Get a crocodile and mock ours. I always try and get the left one because I always feel he's the hardest. There you go. <sighs> Run out of log space. It's not something you hear very often. Not patient, you see. Uh, so we are going to see a number of version, a number of versions of Frogger, the, the, this actual game. But Frogger also uh, appeared in other games as well, which did involve jumping over gaps and traffic and you know stuff like that. But got too fast for my little brain to work with then it was like what what what's going on crap um yeah he goes on magical quests later on in his gaming life which is uh I suppose you got to do something with the um with the franchise you can't uh i'll tell you what let's uh let's do one more of this because i've only got I think I've got six different versions and possibly the arcade game if we can get RetroArch to recognise this joypad. Um, so let's have another go. There's just no warning, it just suddenly speeds up, doesn't it? to at least show you one ride along the back of a crocodile. Oh, these logs are irritating. What's that noise? Oh, was it running out of time? All right. That's all up. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards I was doing. Oh, I did it again. 
Impatient, you see. Impatient. I know what the problem is. I just can't do anything to fix it. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait too long for that log. Can get one more in before I die. Crap, I did it again. Same thing. Stupid head. Okay. Time to swap games, do you think? I think so. So let's boo that down and let's have a look. So if that one. Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to go to to ostensibly a sequel. Um, it's called Frogger 2 Three Deep. Um, and because this is numbers, I suspect this is a Clycovision. Again, Clycovision. Um, so you'll want to actually watch it though, won't you? So let me grab the right screen for you. Um, so there are a number of, there are a number of things called Frogger 2, actually, uh, because I've got a, a Nintendo 64 one called Frogger 2 that is in, well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Oh, did I get the wrong one? There we go. So here we are. That seems to nearly fit almost, almost right. Wow. So Frogger two, three deep, and this is an easy to start because it's one or two. So press one. I. That's because I bloody said it's easy to start in it. Let's do that. Okay, so you're still the frog. But it look, I think you're at the bottom of the sea, it appears, and you can't friggin' touch anything, I don't think, uh, and you move too, you have no control over that. Uh, oh, 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 there we go, right. Guess you can't touch the turtle either. So I can honestly say, never played this one. Oh crap. God, that's a tight spot to reach. Let's try again. Okay, I think you're safe on that, that line. And then... See how the uh, the graphics are worse than the one we just played, I feel. Which suggests to me that, well, I don't know what I was playing then. How am I supposed to get through that gap? Can I get through there? Oh, I might as well wait and go through here. Now I've got a freaking turtle. That's annoying. Oh, for God's sake. Right, collision detection on this is quite strict. I need to get more than one frog on though, don't I? Not playing like that, I won't. See what I was talking about, patience. Oh, for God's sake. Do you know what? F it. F it. Ah. Start again, shall we? OK, 
Okay. So I don't know if there's unlimited number of logs. Um, or if there's just three and then that's like, yeah, you've completed section one. Oh, bastard! <sighs> See, and dying just makes me less patient. There we go. That's one, at least. Right, so that one is already there, but I've got a nice gap, so... I need to kind of hover in this gap for a bit, don't I? And then perhaps go up and get this one coming in. Oh, the one on the left's going to be a bastard. Hurrah! Two! Ah, ah, ah. Let's have a look now. It'd be great if that empty one just came back along here. A bit super duper. Oh, nearly... Rear-ended that fish. It's not something I thought I'd be saying tonight. Okay, so now what? I've filled my logs. Okay, so the turtle helps. And do those yellow fish kill you then? Oh, I'm going to have to find out, aren't I, in a sec. Or you can just jump over him. So what? where am I supposed to go now? Come on, Frogger 2, help me out. Can I populate one that's already populated or bummer fish so do these yellow ones all right so the yellow ones don't kill you they just move you about all right well as, as I have no more empty logs one would assume that I can carry on filling a log that's already got a, f a me in it. Hmm. Let's find out. Oh, whoa, what's this? All right, you can't go back once you've gone. And you go, oh, what? I've got no idea what's happening. So I've got a, I've got a jump, and I can jump on the butterflies, but I can't jump upwards. So what am I? Oh, and something kills you off the side. That I've got no idea what that is at all. All right. I think we need to see that again, don't we? Oh, straight here this time. So, how do we get? Right, I've got no other buttons. And I fell through the clouds. And then I lost patience and walked into an alligator. Or a crocodile. Nope. 
Oh, I did ex exactly the same thing. What a knob. <sighs> right. Honestly, I want, I'm just... It's like somebody wanted to make a Frogger game. It's like a massive amount of drugs. So this bit, this bit makes sense. I appreciate how to do this bit. Fill the logs. Fill the logs. I set that logs going off the back, so now I have to wait, and I can't get in front of these fish. So, uh, okay, three froggies home. Now we have to jump on a log already, like that. Okay. So, then. No, that was stupid. So, I guess that's where the the name Three Deep comes from. In that it's got three levels. Okay. Ooh. So, how do I get past that? Do I not go on the goose? I've got no idea how you get on this. And the dragon eats you. So you can't go on the dragon either. So, I'd be curious to get across this one. So if the goose messes you up, do you go on the ducks? All right, all right. Oh, but then you've got to get off. Oh, wish I'd known that before I jumped on a duck. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Wait for the duck yeah. mum to go away and then I have to get off here quick though. No. I have to get off here quick. Bro. Ooh. No pressure at all. Right, and then a green floaty thing. Then what? Oh now, do I jump on the boat or do I jump on the whatever it's dragging behind it? It's taken a long time to get here. I don't want to get it wrong. It does look like a target though, doesn't it? Patience. Come on, is there enough room? Is it, is it going to get far enough down? I'm running out of time. You bastard. Okay, I don't think I died. That was promising. That's kind of all I wanted to find out now. Because I don't think I'm going to work out how the rest of it works. Ooh. Oh, now there's someone in there. Oh, it's a me. All right, so do I... Do I jump on me again? No, I don't. So, I guess it's... The 
goose. Oh, for sake. So, look, it looks like there's some way of getting to the top cloud. But why can't I get to it? Is it do I need to And I can't jump on that green that's floating along the bottom for some reason. I'm just gonna run out of time. There you go. Um, right, I'm done with Frogger Two, three deep. It's uh, substantially more confusing than um, Frogger. Wow, still a similar gameplay though. Um, which, uh, as of now, we're moving away from that gameplay into something far, far more confusing. Which way around should we do this? Should we do... Let's do the Game Boy titles first. And we'll come back because rather than trying to get RetroArch working to show you the arcade version, there is a an arcade version on the DS version of Frogger that's not exactly the same, I'll be honest with you. It's been uh, touched up a little bit. Um, so, let's have a look first at Frogger's Adventures, part one. Temple of the Frog. I know, I know. Um, Temple of the Frog, so that's that one. Although these games were never meant to be played on a big CRT. There you are. And they are on a big CRT for you. Ah, right. Um, let's see what happens with this one. Ooh, getting a bit warm in here. So obviously we're getting a bit of a a bit more story because that's what everybody wants. It's a bit of story. Let's let's start a fresh one. So I hope this isn't one that tells you an awful lot of story. The buttons have changed around. Okay, so now, now we have a map. And a lot of story. You don't want me to read it out, do you? So, uh, blah, blah. You're on a quest. You've got lots of things to get. The Elder Council is sending you. Because we're all going to die horribly in our swamp. We won't be covering all these regions. In fact, I'll be consider myself very lucky if I get through the first. Yeah, but oh, it'll be difficult. Get the fire element. Remember that because that'll be coming a familiar trope in the next one as well. Yeah, jump around, collect things. No traffic in sight. Jeez, there's a lot of story here, isn't there? anybody read these okay so let's have a look all right so you still jump like frogger okay 
All right, more, more story that we've already been told. And I guess we'll just follow the path, do we? Way. And we avoid peoples. Oh! Overestimated my jumping ability. It's a bugger, you've got to go all the way around this freaking path. Did a mysterious jump to the left then that I didn't do. Have to be careful. Yay, checkpoint! We've got checkpoints in this game. Yeah, collect coins. So, hey, we've ever seen that before. Collecting the coins. Oh, there's the coin. Okay, where? Do you know what? I kind of expected a way out. Ah, do I go that way? Oh, another checkpoint. They seem quite... Oops. Avoid the evil-looking things with uh, fire on them. It's something I've just learnt. So, the path comes down here. Back to this. So... Oh, that's disappointing. Nope, there's no safe place. over a button one here, one's not doing anything it's probably mapped wrong so what's a what's a glide when it's at home then oh, not that's tongue a doesn't do anything at all on this joypad oh right so maybe it's my y button So I'm guessing I have to go upwards, do I? Oh, so we're playing like opposite. Ow, all this. Oh, fruit. It's going to make me look like that every time I do this now, isn't it? That's what. Oh. Right, checkpoint. So now where am I going? Let's jump off the edge. No. Uh, all right. I can't get up there. Oh no, I've restarted right back at the start. That's freaking irritating. I can only imagine what it's like for you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm not interested. Oh, patience, you see. Oh, 
Oh no. I know, he would. I'm all out of P words. Shit. Oh, that's my big fat thumbs that time. Do you want? No, no, we're not continuing. No, because I have a horrible feeling the sequel to this game is very similar. And in fact, we'll have a look at that now, shall we? And if you said that the sequel to this game was called Frogger's Adventure 2, you'd be right. This is The Lost Wand. Um, so, let's pull this game up. Excuse me, now. I have a horrible feeling. When I started this to see if it worked with the joypad, it had a massive, massive intro story that was like, how the hell am I going to get past this? And I'm hoping the fact that I've already... So I press the back button, I see. You know what? I'm going to continue so that you don't have to listen to that long story again. So, crikey, what magic shards do we have to get this time? What? Fire shards? No. Oh, yes. Okay, stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. So many words. And look! Oh, how similar! Look at this! Wow! Oh, and it's not coins. We collect something else this time. Crystal droplets. Would that? No, I wouldn't like to read it again ever. And what? We're going to make you follow a massive path again for no reason whatsoever. Uh, all right then. out for that pit yes it looks like a brown line but it's a pit so now I need to see right so yeah my Y button is checkpoint is there anything this way we need to see no oh this seems more froggery gonna die horribly aren't I oh I am doing that can I just walk onto them logs then oh 
Oh no. Nearly blew it then. Oh, special pull blocks, right. Use your tongue skill. Okay, I have a tongue skill, apparently. They all say that. No, I wouldn't want to read again. So what button's my tongue then? It's that one. So, do I do a super jump to that one? Oh, I do, okay. Right, get these and that. Oh, another magic card. I think I've missed a magic card. Oh, that's disappointing. Crystal, it's a magical crystal frog. Wow. It looked like an extra life icon to me. No. What was my tongue again? There it was. Guess we're going up these stairs. Chicka chicka checkpoint. Okay, so. Nope. Another extra life. Does that mean it's going to get really, really difficult in a second? Oh, irritating. Cat. LNR buttons. I'm glad this cheap, nasty joypad's got LNR buttons. Why did you not tell me this sooner? So, so what? So does that mean? Oh. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. No, nope. this way, isn't it? I know, I know, I needed to get like this and go like that. And then, what do you reckon? Big jump? And then, can I walk off that? I can. And walk back on. Okay. Oh, nearly there with all the cars. What's this? Oh, right. Hmm. But I only got three of the four. Ugh. Oh, he's doing a little dance. So, oh, instant death. Okay, can't jump off then. So, so, where do I need to go then? Wow, okay. How do I get back? Oh, I see. I'm sure I pressed jump then. I don't get how I'm supposed to get anywhere else. Okay, so I can tongue that one. What's my tongue then? That was jump, not tongue. What's tongue? Oh, a B button. Right, okay. So, can I... How, how far can I tongue? Oh, tongue, not fall off the edge and die horribly. Dickhead. Come on, you stupid frog.
get too too desperate on that spike, and I'm like, oh shit, no. It's the only way out, though, isn't it? Dagnabbit. Okay, so that's Frogger's Frogger's Adventures one and two for the Game Boy Advance. I think we've seen enough of them, don't you? Um, okay, so I think what we'll do first is we will have a look at Frogger two on the N sixty four. Which is a, a, a totally different game. It's, it's not Frogger 2. It's not the Frogger 2 that we know and love. And I always get an error message when I try and run an N64 emulator. But Okay, so... Oh no, where is it? Come on, open the menu. Frogger 2. Now it does say... It does say Alpha on it, so maybe this is a non-released version. Perhaps. Anyway, it wants to open with the N64, so we will assume it's an N64 game. How about start doesn't work? Everything else worked through the gamepad fine. Ah. Oh because of the analog stick. Don't have an analog. Um, do you know what? Um, I'm going to get the wireless one out. All right, let's see what happens. I've got the right sticks for it now, then. F what's flat level? Oh, let's go with flat level, shall we? That's, that seems to... Let's play something like flat. Save me babies. Is that a baby? Oh, baby saved, okay. Well, that was easy. Um, so, very much Frogger gameplay. Keep saved. I have to get onto a log. Oh, oh, I see. Do you start again when you save a baby? Wow, I don't like the way it jumps. It kind of jumps weird. It's all right on the road bit, but it looks like it jumps off at an angle when. Uh... Nope, my time in shit. Ah, uh, <laughs> hmm. See, do you, you kind of move to the side when you jump? Oh, okay, okay. I'm guessing we don't jump into birds. Oh, I can't get past. You're not going to make me go back to the UI. You're going to make me go back to start for every baby. 
Like, sod the babies. That's what we should say. Sod the babies. Wow, that's like a bit bloody, isn't it? The snake just rips you to bits. See, I moved to the side then, and it jumped me forward. It does have a weird sort of control feel to it. I'm not excusing my bad playing. Everyone knows I'm not playing very well. But... See, I jumped onto the centre of the turtle. And, oh, died horribly. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, that's nice. Go under the tunnel. Oh, oh, please don't come this way. Please don't. How am I going to get through this? I didn't zoom it in. It just chose to zoom itself in. Wow, look at that. Proper zoomed in. So then we're going to can't see bloody anything at all. There we go. Oh, crap. That's annoying when you get that far. Oh. Okay, let's see. So, apparently I can go off the edge of the screen and plop back on there. That's nice. I think that's a problem. So, yeah, I, I think this game hasn't been finished it's got some weird camera angles and it's um oh you can't stop you can't stop it'll bite you how am I supposed to get past them bite not by doing that. Oh, I've just noticed how many frogs I've got. I've just saw. How many lives do you have? Oh, 90, 91 left. Yeah, you can knock yourself out. Wee, look, you can just die. You've got you've got 90, 90 lives. It's fine. Oh, you can't outrun a snake. That's uh, something. Oh. Wow. Again, another one where the collision detection is not, not very forgiving. Uh, don't worry, I'm not using all nine, uh, 90 lives. I've disappointed. I, w I wanted that that lily pad up there, not this one here. See, I felt I was on that then. Um, <laughs> Look, I told you it was going to be a short short episode. This one, didn't I? Short episode. I think we're done. I think we're done with a, an unfinished frog or two. Don't you? We're going to do... Uh, possibly. Possibly our last frogger. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, yes. No, this is the right one. It put... Oh, how's this going to fit onto the screen that I've got? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do you know what? Do you know the quickest solution? Move it to the top. Uh, apologies to Beth, who worked very hard on the screen, but 
This is um, this is a Nintendo DS, not built for horizontal screens. Okay, so this is called Frogger Helmet Chaos. No idea. No idea. Let's find out. That, that. There we go. Our story begins, as most stories do, once upon a time in a swamp, where there lived a frog named Frogger. And a frog a toad named Frogger. Toady. That'd be like That's a human the... named hey, Humany. What's that thing up there on top of that tree? What? Yeah. Wow, really? Um. Yeah. Oh, something bad happens. Oh, got to save him. Bloody blah. Grumpy. Hmm. Let's see if I can find him. Oh, it's another one of these ones, is it? Oh shit. So, I feel we've played enough of these ones, but we'll have a quick go anyway, and then we'll um, the real reason we've put it on. Play the souped up arcade version that they've got on here. Bonus! Literally, bonus. What have we got? A big jump? Tongue. Okay, I think the controls are similar to what we had before. Jump. Nope, not that jump. What's what's the other jump? Oh, there we go. Straight up jump. And a checkpoint. Super. Well, technically speaking, I could enlarge this bottom screen to the size of the telly. Um, but it's too late now. Nope, did the wrong jump. Can't jump that. Then. Maybe that's something I could have read about in the question mark that I died nearby. If I do a vertical jump and use my tongue. Oh, using your tongue like a swing. Cunning. It's not the first time I've seen that. So, which one was jump? That one. And that's tongue. So, jump, tongue. No, jump, tongue. Oh, does it automatically let go of your tongue then? <sighs> yeah, you know that I've seen that. Don't make me read it again.
Uh, I'm very least I'm going to complete this swing before I rage quit. Right, so you have to leave your finger on it right until the end and it releases automatically. And by automatically, I mean not automatically, it's all you have to let go of the button. Oh, you're a frog! How can you drown? Gosh darn you. No, F off. What are we really here for? This is why we need it full screen. Because we've got Frogger Classic. Now, like I say, it's been touched up a little bit, but. It still has that, um, that arcadey feel. Not the classic music, though. play a lot of this because they're very similar to um, the arcade, uh, not the arcade, the Atari version that we played earlier on. But I felt we should at least give the um, give the arcade one, not, not arcade, I know it's not arcade, but we should at least give it a play. Come on, quick, ah, oh, just not fast enough. Well, you can still step on the back of cars, which is annoying. Oh! Not even concentrating, I was just making sure I'd capture the stream for you guys. And I looked away for a second. get a fly as well. No. Bastard. Oh! Fuck. Oh. Referee. One more go. Then we'll, um, we'll visit the wheel a little earlier than we normally would, but there are only so many froggers in the world. fly as well get in there lady friend and some dinner for her as well that's the way to do it mm. just noticed a perceptible speed up there another fly oh it's not gonna be enough for me i'm afraid i'll have to go with that one Friend. Fly as well. Get in there. Oh, what's into the back of the truck? 
Now we've got a snake. A snake, a snake. Oh, and uh, I, I mean, I, I know it's supposed to be an alligator popping into your little house, but it looked like a freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex. Jurassic Frogger. Stay there, love. Gotcha. Is that not... Is that... Noise to bleed... Snake. A snake making that noise that sounds like a bloody ambulance. It's a first aid snake. Whoa, you bastards. Is that a beaver? Oh, I'm bringing all sorts out. It's a beaver gnawing on my log. Glad I didn't go for that one. Jump on the beaver. I know it's not a question you thought you'd hear tonight, but. Well, I think that's the most frogs I've got on this tonight. Do you know what? That is the end of um, of Frogger for tonight. You know, run the risk of giving you just too much of a good thing. Oh, you've got the light shining on it there. Yeah. I'll leave it like that. Um, so, then. It's time to have a switch over and uh, we do our Michael McIntyre impression as we look for the wheel before we spin it. Well, I can see the wheel, so why can't you? There you are. Okay. I have to wait for Frogger to finish now, don't I? There we go. So, the wheel. On the wheel, we have a number of segments. It's going to show us what we're going to be doing next week. And uh, we've got SGDS, same game, different system. A little bit like what we played tonight, except tonight we played different games. Whereas with same game, different system, we play exactly the same game. And we just see how it looks over the different systems. IHMP, I've never played. If you've watched any of these episodes, you'll know I'm not... Uh, a gamer who games a lot and is good at them. And there are some games that I've not played. Any of a series of, like Castlevania, for instance, is the one I'm looking at. Um, so we'll be playing some of those games. What else have we got? We've got genres. Speaks for itself, really. We'll be covering random assortment of games from the genre that comes up. And then we've got some pictures on there. We've got Star Wars, Pac-Man, Sonic, Mario, Donkey Kong. And we'll be covering, like we did with Frogger today... We'll be covering all? Not all, because if we pick Sonic, we'll be here all night. But we're going to pick a handful of different games that will be the same game in the Sonic uh, franchise, if that's what it comes up as. So let's spin the wheel and uh, let's see what we get. Oh. Oh, talk of the devil. Right. I used him as an example. Oh, this is a big... <laughs> this is a big one. This is a big one. We've got lots of games to cover next week. Um, 
there you go. Sonic. All, all games with Sonic in. Um, but we won't be playing all of them. We'll be playing a handful of them that I will pick probably at random. And we'll see how we get on. Um, okay. Wow. There we go. Okay, let's switch back. Hey. Um, boom. There we go. So, that's it for the end of uh, uh, for episode 7. Um, if you've liked it, and you'd like to give us a follow, that would be great. Then you'll find out when we go live. But if you want to watch Retro Lounge all the time, then it's Monday at 7 o'clock. Join us live for, generally, I like to say a couple of hours. But obviously, Frogger, not as long. Not as long. But, you know, it's a bank holiday here today as well. So, there you go. Um... We're also on YouTube, as Snug Radio, and you can see um, highlights and clips from some of the earlier shows uh, put up there, as well as edited versions of the stream, you know, with the, the front cut off and perhaps some titles, if I've said something wrong, and maybe some pictures of consoles, because, you know, some people watch and they don't know what I'm talking about, which isn't a new thing for me. Anyway, uh, you can email us if you've got a suggestion. Oh, do you have a favourite Sno- Sonic game? Then you can email us, retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website for all the other things that Snug Radio do, because we're also a podcast, and um, we've got... Uh, we do 11s on Twitch, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Um, go to snugradio.co.uk and it's all there. So until next week, have a great week and I'll be back then. See ya.